Hey, I'm Maddie. I live in a converted minivan and I'm on a quest to go to all the states and drink a local beer and go on an outdoor adventure. This is my second full-length video from my time in Washington State. Long ago, two dragons lived in this area. They looked like giant eels, except they could fly. And since there were two of them, they were fighting over territory. They got into a huge battle, skin was flying, and it became lichen that landed on trees. Then, figuring that neither of them were gonna win, they both retreated back to separate caves and cried tears that were hot and eventually became the hot springs we see today. That is a legend that I read on a sign. It just said the Indians believed, which is not great because there wasn't one Native American culture. There were like hundreds of them. So I'm when I have service, I'm gonna look up the specific name of the people and write that on your screen. But today I am going on a hike it's called Lover's Lane. I'm in Olympic National Park and we are gonna go see a waterfall. And then when we come back, um, we're gonna take a dip in the hot springs and relax our muscles with hot tears of ancient dragons. Before we get more into the video, I want to mention we do have a sponsor today, which is really exciting. This video is sponsored by BetterHelp. During hard times, it can get really difficult if you don't have anyone to talk to. Being alone with your thoughts can be an isolating feeling that can allow negativity to consume you. I know a lot of the times when I'm traveling by myself, I kind of get stuck in my own way of thinking and without someone to talk that out with, it's not a good time. And that's why I'm sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. You just fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you get matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Then you schedule secure video and phone sessions, plus you can exchange unlimited messages and everything you share is completely confidential. One of my favorite things I've learned is that you can get caught up in a cycle of thinking of what you should have done, what you could have done, and that's illogical thinking, and you really have to break the habit of thinking like that. You can also request a new therapist at no additional charge anytime. Join the 2 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. So many people use BetterHelp they are currently recruiting additional therapists in all 50 states. Get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp, that's betterhelp.com slash beer and beautiful places. And thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. These giant trees need giant roots to hold themselves up. For reference, if I were to stand next to it, I think I would come to maybe right about there if I was standing there. Here, let's see. Wow, this is so huge. If you look here, you can see a 
new tree growing out of an old stump. Man, that is so cool. Because the old tree is so rich in nutrients, I guess a little sapling or a little seed just fell onto it. Sapling started growing and never looked back. That's awesome. There's also something called nurse logs, which I saw in the whole rainforest. I haven't seen many of them recently, but you'll see all these trees in a row and it looks kind of like magical. Like, is this the work of fairies? But it's because there is an old decomposing log that seeds fall into. It's really rich, um, nutrient filled. So trees start growing on it and that's how all these trees form in a straight line and their roots are kind of interconnected. A cedar burl, just like on the coast. It's so cool because there's drops of something on these, but it's not like you just do or spray from a waterfall or something. Everything else around here is dry. These ferns are taller than me right now. I've been seeing these flowers since the beginning of the trail and I just now noticed how similar they are to dogwood tree flowers. They have four petals with a pointy tip. Um, the center of them is a bunch of stuff instead of a circle. I don't know <laughs> how to describe it. And the leaves look similar too. So I'm very curious what these guys are. Sounds like we're getting close. And the air smells like sulfur. So I wonder if it's hot spring water in the falls. That must be the edge of the falls. We're so close. Now oh, I guess that wasn't the falls after all because the trail is still going. nice. It was different from what I was expecting, how the river kind of turned sideways and then fell um, instead of straight over a cliff. And it was very slotty too. Very slot canyon-esque. Man, rocks and water never fail to impress. I see the unnatural blue of the pool, so I know I'm pretty much back now. That was the move. I feel so good. 
so relaxed. They let people in to the pool in shifts. I could have waited till six, but when I got there, they were already starting the next shift, so I just quickly shoved a handful of chips in my mouth, put my stuff in a bag and headed in there. A normal swimming pool, and that was full of cold water, um, and it smelled like sulfur instead of smelling like chlorine. And then there were three pools that were pretty warm, really warm, and hot, hot. I actually turned red in that one, but I would go back and forth between hot and cold. When I was at a spa in Germany, they said that was good for you. I think it is good for your immune system. I don't really know how it's good for you, but it seemed like a very therapeutic process. So that's what I did. And it was so nice. I also got to take a shower and that was $18 for all of that. So not bad. The next thing I need to do is look for groceries though, because I am hungry. After a lovely drive, I picked up some groceries in Port Angeles, and I was prepared to spend the next couple days in one spot, relaxing and catching up on video editing. But then, my van started making this noise. And that, my friends, is a whole other story which I'll have to save for next time. See you then.